Chumba Mukomen The lecturer to Governor Ayako We have agreed that he will look for funds to complete the perimeter wall and do all the inner roads to Cabro Standard. And we have agreed that uh, since it's expensive and you know we are struggling, we'll do an arrangement with the National Youth Service. We'll provide the materials, they'll provide the labor so that it's cheaper and it's done very quickly. So, Kipchumba Asanda Sana. I have not heard how much Mwashimua Kemani Chumwa wants to put from CDF. You must put some money, my brother. Gabi Utabayana? Yeah, Gabi? Abana? Abana? No, 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 no. Adi Adase Matano, Munaeza Kubali? Ongeza? How much? Okay. He'll give 10 million to support this school from the CDF. And Mupigia uh, Makovi, that's a lot of money. Because ako na mashule mingi sana ya kusaidia. Pia, President William Ruto, my boss, and the President of Kenya, has directed the Minister of Education to give 50 million shillings to this school <laughs> so that you see the board will sit down and decide the priority areas. But I think we are doing well. Water we have, perimeter wall we have, the roads we have, we have a hostel, we have teacher's block. Mwashimua Kemani will give uh, 10 million. I think we are not doing badly. So we'll give you 50 million shillings this financial year. And next year, we'll put another 50 million from the national government. So I think our coming here was not in vain. Na pia vijana, I talked to the captain here, and uh, Kipchuba Mukomen, I think you, know, you need to know our traditions. Where, where? Was Chana Ichungwa, you know I'm in Lotu Ichungwa. How do you market them without permission from us? <laughs> listen and listen good. Those girls are not available to anybody for the next 10 years. <laughs> we want them to be women of substance, to be leaders in this country. So, we are going to say, we are going to say, we are going We are going to to We are going to We Don't listen to Kipchumba. He is misleading you. We are Kipchumba, come here and Musiana, you come here and Utangase. <laughs> uh, I think I talked to the captain and because I'm here boys Si munajua mimi ni mtu ya juu chini tu naelewa mambo mingi Si munajua mimi naelewa maneno Nipange maneno kidogo ya bash kidogo <laughs> Eh Nipange maneno Hii watu ya lazima wasi elewa Mimi nimepima pima hapa tu nikikaa hapa kwa sababu mimi ni mtu ya huko chini. Nimesikia mnataka a special meal ya kuku and chapati. So <laughs> Kwa hiyo Kwa hiyo nitawacha 500,000 shillings kwa hiyo maneno ya chapati na kuku na maneno mengine. So Ndiyo Alliance Gauss Musijali Simi na kuja eh, Nita kuja huko Hakuna shida Once I come I'll come loaded So finally Nataka tuwakote pesa harambe Ya kujenga chapel Before we Thank you Senator Karongo Your Excellency As Senator Karongo has said Let me also use the words of Bishop Muloa, who is my very good friend, who gave us a very good sermon this morning. That indeed, uh, Bishop, as you said, 
there is nothing Christian in selling each other stones, whether it is 20 shillings or 50 or 100 shillings. And the demonstrations we have witnessed in this country over the last few weeks and months, Bishop, you've asked us a very critical question whether in a country that professes that 80% of us are Christians, whether we want to engage each other in demonstrations that turn out to be violent, end up with bloodshed, with loss of life, with massive destruction of public and private infrastructure and property. And Bishop, let me confirm to you, as we communicated yesterday between myself and the leader of minority, we have engaged, as the church has often called on us as leaders to engage, and we have made a conscious decision that we shall no longer in this country use violence, anarchy, and bloodshed as a currency for negotiating political power. <clears throat> that we must live and abide by the rule of law and our constitution. That we must make determination of how we govern our country at the ballot box on the day of elections and the day elections are announced. If any one of us has a grievance from an electoral process, we shall follow the rule of law and the constitution to sort out whatever differences or misgivings we may have with an electoral process. Therefore, Your Excellency, as you and the President have guided I must also appreciate the position that has been taken by our colleagues in the minority. That we now all agree, whether you are in the majority or in the minority, whether you are in government or in the opposition, that violence, anarchy and bloodshed shall not be a way of transacting business in the Republic of Kenya. And I want to take this opportunity, Your Excellency, to assure the country that as we indicated yesterday, with the guidance of the party leaders in the two coalitions, we shall embark in that process of dialoguing and talking to each other so that we may resolve the five issues that we indicated as the agenda of that committee that we will set up. That, Your Excellency, is not to say that the cost of living is not an issue to the people of Kenya. And indeed, globally, Your Excellency, you know. And I'm glad you just came from the FAO, FAO meetings in Italy. You know the challenge of the cost of living is a global problem. And Your Excellency, you also know we all went out to the people of Kenya with manifestos and our manifesto in Kenya Kwanza, which called or christened the plan, had solid and achievable plans that we indicated we will roll out if we go to government. And we all agreed, Your Excellency, that given an opportunity to implement that plan, we have the know-how, we have the means, and we are capable of changing the tide and bringing down the cost of living. And we appreciate the role of the opposition or the minority in oversighting government to ensure that this government will implement what they went out or what we went out to the Kenyan people to sell to them that we shall do when we are government. And we have indicated, Your Excellency, that on the question of the cost of living, we will allow the minority to have all the latitude in line with our laws and the Constitution to criticize, to propose better measures than they think, that they think would do better than we are doing, but to never, ever use violence as a means to engage on political issues 
or on governance issues. And I want to confirm that to our leaders in the church, that we in Kenya Kwanza, we commit that we shall abide by what we have agreed. And violence will never be allowed to be a currency to use to transact any governance or political questions in the country now and in the future. And may God help us. Kwaayo Mengi, Your Excellency, allow me, as I stand here, to ask the Governor Kiambu County to come give us his brief.